some new developments in the latest class action lawsuit filed against Gateway Church in South Lake. That lawsuit demands Gateway refund donations that have been made by church members, known commonly as a tithe. Well, today we found out hundreds of other members are in fact wanting refunds on their tithing as well. To get us up to speed, here's Amelia Magavro. Some of you have raised concerns about Gateway's financials and stewardship. Over the weekend, Gateway Church addressed its congregation, saying it's hired a new agency to look into its financial ethics, also claiming the church has audited its records for years. It has had independently audited financial statements since 2005. This all comes on the heels of a new class action lawsuit filed Friday. In the suit, a CPA who worked with Global Ministries claims only around $3 million was given to Global Ministries a year out of its $100 million yearly revenue. However, former lead pastor Robert Morris said 15% or just around $15 million would go to Global Ministries. And now we give 15% to missions and then 15% of that goes to Jewish ministry. Now hundreds of additional church members who gave donations to the church now want a refund, something Morris repeatedly promised. If you are not fully satisfied at the end of that year, I'll give you your money back. In a statement obtained by the lawsuit's legal counsel, Gateway's legal team wrote in a statement in part, once donations are made, they constitute a completed unconditional gift to the church and become the property of the church, even if described as a return of donation would be in violation of federal law. This case is about two things. It's about fraud and breach of contract. It's to not let us see the books and to lay in the weeds. And this new defense of it's not legal to return the money is absurd. Former Gateway member Valentina Hansen hopes Gateway is more transparent. Know that this is not God's plan. Um, God is shining a light on Gateway Church right now, and he wants to clean it up. And so we as Christians need to stand up and make sure that that happens. And now the question is, what is the next step? Well, this class action suit will go before a federal judge, and that judge will decide whether or not the church is obligated to issue those refunds. In South Lake, Amelia McGalbro, CBS News, Texas.